Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookYouAndMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. I wanted to show y'all the results of my tea staining I did um, last week. You will notice on my channel that I put in um, three uh, YouTube shorts is what they call them. And um, that's the first time I've ever done those. And it was just quick little snippets of what I was up to that day. And um, I was tea staining. And I noticed that my um, inventory of tea stain and coffee dyed stuff was very low on my little shelf I have over here to the right of my workstation. And so I needed to do some more. I wanted to go just step by step through this for anybody that needed it. And then we are going to bundle up uh, three packs of this, various items of these that are here. And we're going to have them available on the website at, at www.scrapbookingwithme.com. And um, just wanted to show all y'all. So, of course, we won't go through every one of the pages but um what i do is i have those um family size tea bags and it's just the black tea um lipton Louisiana, whatever that's what we have here in alabama any tea brand would work um, i've never used anything but black tea so i don't know you know if anything else would, would work but that's what I use and I use four of the family size tea bags and then I have a gallon size jug uh, pour jug that is microwavable and I fill it up to the top put in my four um, family size tea bags and press them down into the water making sure you know they're all absorbed then I put them in the microwave for 14 minutes then I let it steep in the microwave for another 10 minutes. So you're looking at 24 minutes. And then I have um, some 9 by 13 disposable pans, metal pans, tin pans, whatever, that um, I pour that tea into. And what I did for these is I had two pans, poured half of the tea solution into each, and then I filled my gallon jug up halfway, so another half gallon of water, and then um, poured that, distributed that into the two pans, and then just kind of sloshed it up and started adding my papers. Now, I did regular copy paper. I did the premium weight copy paper, which is like, what, 28 to 32 pound, but then regular copy paper premium and then book pages envelopes and then these are my tea bags i have seen lots and lots of youtubers uh do things with tea bags make pockets things like that so i do have um all four of the tea bags and that's the size of the family size tea bags that I use if anybody is needing that information. So what I'm going to do, of course I'm going to keep some of this, <laughs> but what I'm going to do is bundle these, um, have little, you know, care packages of tea stained papers and envelopes, and um, I'm going to have three bundles. So we'll go through these papers and I'll show you and then um, we'll bundle them up and I think I'm going to use some twine this is just little hemp twine thin hemp twine that can be used in lots of ways um, I love this stuff I keep it um, in my little stockpile over here all the time um, I have one large bag of it somewhere and if I can't find that I've got this um, so whoever gets these three bundles will also get here it is will also get um, some twine 
along with their package. So that could be used in junk journals too. Now, um, when I put down all of my papers, I had like um, kitchen towels, well no, bathroom towels, <laughs> laying on my dining room table. And I just started dipping and I would leave them in the pan like five and six on top of each other dipped in the pan and then I would bring them over to my dining room table and just start pulling them out one by one and laying them flat on my dining room table and as you can see I haven't ironed any of these and they're pretty flat I mean there might be a couple of them that need a little bit of ironing but they are pretty flat I didn't have to do any ironing to these so I really like that. Um, just making sure to get your towels flat and then laying these on as flat as possible and you won't have any kind of um, waviness or bucked up places that you would have to iron out. And then while the tea bags still had the uh, tea grains in them and were still really soppy wet, I would um, lay them down on the papers just kind of willy-nilly throughout the day and I didn't put any of these in the oven I don't bake my papers I never have done that I like just air drying it is a longer process but I just like it better the papers don't come out brittle so I like just air drying but that's what this is it was that tea bag that still had the tea in it that had just gotten laid down on it at some point and you know a few hours later I came back to the dining room table moved the tea bags around to different papers so that's what that is but then you have all this other where papers have been laid on top of it and then um, maybe there was an air bubble there from that paper that got laid on top of that so you got really really pretty little accents and cells and stuff see where the another paper got laid on top of it some of them are very very dark and then some are really light some have um, some kind of little accent on both sides and some are just kind of plainer on one side see and then this side's got some cells on it so there is another tea bag piece and I was very shocked that I didn't have more torn papers but I have very few torn papers in this pile but I'm okay with torn papers I've, I've never just thrown them out because even if I can't use them in a signature in my junk journal I will um, just use them torn in different places uh, make tags out of them things like that so there's another example of that tea bag getting laid down on it. Um, there are some very, very interesting ones in here that have a lot of character, and I wanted to get to those. That one's very dark. Oh, and I like the kind of coffee stain look to it there. That one has lots of character. And you can tell this was one that was toward the end of my um, staining because you've got some white areas on this one so that was toward the end where my tea was running low so I love all the different aspects of that let me get to that one here's one that has that tea bag effect on the corner and then there was a piece of paper on top of that so it kind of smooshed out that's cute. Let me get to that one that has all of that. Um, I laid all the tea bags on this one sheet in the very beginning. Look at that. All of the tea bags got laid on this one in the very beginning just to um, kind of have something to absorb all that excess tea that was in the tea bags at the first while I was. <laughs> Uh, and that one, I mean, it's barely got that much done to the back of it, but look at the front of it. I'll be keeping that one. I thought that one was very, very cute, and I love grungy papers to put into my junk journal, so 
I love these. All right, so every um, bundle is going to get 15 regular sheets. And some of them may have a torn edge. Let me get to one that's got a torn... See, some of them might have a little bit of a torn edge. And the way that happened was when, um, let's say about mm, six hours after I first lay the papers down to start... Um, drying and the towels underneath to soak up the excess liquid um, I start moving my papers around just so that I can um, get some drying going on some air drying going on and um, so that I don't get any kind of mildew um, I've never had that problem but I have watched youtubers before who said that they left their papers for two days and then they come back to it and they had mold or mildew or something like that going on and I don't ever want that so I move my papers around a lot during that whole drying process and it usually takes a good 24 hours now sometimes I have put a box fan um, in a chair we have a bistro um, hot uh, table so it's kind of hard but I do put sometimes a box fan on a chair and have it blowing on the paper sometimes but then of course you have to watch it especially if you have fur babies um, <laughs> some of the papers will fall off and then you know fur baby's going to get a hold of it if um, you're not careful look at that one I love the cells on that one so that one had um, some papers laid on top of it that were really wet probably and so it had some air bubbles from the paper that was above it I like that one and then the back's got that nice little run of tea on the back of that one I'm keeping that one too <laughs> so 15 of these papers they're gonna get um, six book pages six envelopes and one tea bag uh, because I'm keeping one and then I have four so I'm making three bundles so three tea bags, six envelopes, six book pages. So let's go through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at that one. Oh, love it. 13. 14. Let's not give every one of the tea bag effect ones to the same person. And then one more. 15. Let's count those again. Make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. 15 papers, regular size, um, eight and a half by 11 paper, and then six book pages. So one, two, three, four. Oh, that one's a blank on the back side. Love that. Four, five, and six. Six book pages. And for the book pages, they went on last. So everything else got laid down. And while everything was good and still soppy wet, I laid down the book pages all over the tops of my papers. And then I came back and um, while everything was still wet, just immediately came back and flipped all of the book pages and pressed them down really good and left it like that. So book pages were on top. Then I have two different styles of envelopes. These are just regular small um, mailing envelopes. And some have where, you know, the adhesive has come apart. So whoever gets these bundles will have to glue these envelopes back together. That's just the nature of the beast. When you get them wet, the adhesive that's already on them is going to come apart at some point. So those are the regular 
little mailing envelopes and these are the invitation style they, they were both white like start white envelopes but these have the little square flap at the top so six envelopes let's do one two three and one two oh look at that one three Um, you know what? I did all this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick and choose what envelopes they get. I'm gonna keep that one. It's got that tea bag look to the back of it. All right, and then we're going to lay them like this, and we're gonna get some twine and go one, two, three four and a little to grow on and we're going to wrap this package all up in string there's a song about that <laughs> okay I need to go this way I think There we go. For whatever reason, I had forgotten how to tie up <laughs> tie up packages with string. Okay, so there is the first bundle. Let's get two more going. I really like that one, so that one's going in my pile. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put in the tea bag. I know somebody's out there going, hey, wait a minute, she didn't put the tea bag in there. Tea bag. There we go. First little bundle. I love that. Anybody that doesn't junk journal is looking at this video going, what in the world is she doing? Oh, well. <laughs> okay, one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm, I'll keep the torn one. Oh, look at that one. It had envelopes on top of it. Pretty. Look at there. I've already lost count. Because <laughs> so I'm looking at everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So let's look at these. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Pretty. So 15 and then six book pages. There is one and two. That is from our public library. They had stamped that and that um, ink got off on some of the papers too. And then three, four, five, whoop, and six. And then envelopes. Look at that one. One, two, three. Four, five, six. The next one's only going to get one of those. All right. But they'll get five of the other one. 
and then tea bag. Put the tea bag like that. And let's tie this one up with this, maybe, if we've got enough. Maybe we do. Okay. This way. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to tie a really, really small bow on this one. Really small. But it's enough to tie it up. Yeah, my little chubby fingers couldn't get a bow, so it just got a knot. It's still pretty. Okay, there's two. One more bundle to go, y'all. One. I did notice that the premium paper, the one that's the heavier weight, they got a little darker than the regular copy paper did. Two. Oh, that one's got a good tear in it, so that'll be mine. <laughs> oh, and I like that one, and it's got a crumpled place on it, so that one will be mine. One, two, uh, three, four. Oh, look at that one. Five. Torn place. Lovely. <laughs> Six. Oh, torn place. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Well, nine. Oh, look how dark that one is. Ten. 11, 12, who will like that one? <laughs> 13, 14, 15, ooh, I like that one too, that's pretty. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Six book pages, one, oh, that one's torn, mine. <laughs> Two. Ooh, I like that one. Look at the inking, or not inking, but the staining on that one. Pretty. Three. Four. Five. And six. Those are pretty. All right, and then one of those. One. Two, three, four, five, come on, come on, <laughs> six, okay, I will love those, and then tea bag, and some twine, give myself enough to tie a nice little bow so one person will get one without a bow <laughs> I don't think they will mind that much they still get the twine okay so flip it over pull more out that way I don't know why I thought that y'all would just love going along with me on this little bundling journey that I'm doing, but I just decided to share with you. I was at my craft desk anyways, and I thought they might like seeing me do this, so preparations for something that's going on sale in the shop. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of twine to tie bow with on this one. There we go. So we got three little bundles ready to ship out. I love those. And um, they're just gonna be first come, first serve on the website. Um, I know that some may email me or send me a comment or something like that saying they want one of them. But the fair thing is, I'm just gonna put them on the website and 
whoever gets them gets them <laughs> but um yes they will be up on the website uh tuesday this um let's see yeah that would be what's that date hey bethany what's tuesday's date so tuesday june 14th 2022 so i apologize if you're watching this video years and years in the future <laughs> but yes these will be on the website at scrapbookingwithme.com on tuesday june the 14th 2022 um so that's the three bundles then this is what i'm keeping i'll go through these little book pages for you i still just love that where that tea tea bag and see i can put this on a journal page do i have a journal sitting right here beside me yes i could put this on a journal page say this way decorate you know here if i wanted to and then put in whatever papers i wanted to after i you know made sure that that adhesive is still good on it and then close up my flap and could even do like a little policy closure with a circle here and a cir circle here uh -huh. i'll get it out in a minute circle and then do like a figure eight with some twine there and have that little closure and have a little pocket envelope pocket on my page that's how I'm going to use these. Love that. That will be probably part of my uh, basic junk journaling video that I've got uh, in the process. And um, that was the little journal that we put together. That was like a basic thing. I did step by step for you. And so I will probably add that into there as part of the basic stuff. Um, you could just decorate the envelope. You didn't even have to uh, tea stain it if you didn't want to or age it or whatever. You could just decorate the envelope and use it like that in a journal. Love it. Uh, these book pages. Look at that. Now, see, I'm not even really sure how that happened except just squishing <laughs> of tea in the whole drying process. But these are so pretty. There's another where the tea bag got laid on top of it so pretty and some of them yes are all torn up and i'll just use those as accents tear them even more and use them as accents um, but some of these whole ones i'll use like i have in this basic journal and just this one's not even um tea stained but it, it is yellowed it was an old enough book that it had already yellowed and um, just add them into signatures like that easy and you can add pockets on top of it or you can add some um, journal paper some paper that you've put lines on and just put it on there like that or leave them as is you don't even have to um, do anything to the pages little book pages you add to your journal so that one's almost plain and come out of the very front of the book there's another one with blank on the back and contents on the front. Ooh, I really like that one. I'm glad I got that one. And there's that Eva Public Library on there, and you can see where it had faded out, and it got, like I said, on some of the regular papers. I love that. So nice and grungy. And that one's really torn, so, you know, I'll probably tear it some more. I've already seen those on that bottom. I've shown those because those are the ones I said, oh, I'm keeping that one. Um, so I won't go through those again. There's some more of those tea bag ones. Look at that. Let me pull it up so y'all can get the full effect there. There's my tea bag that I'm keeping. There's that Eva Public Library that's come through. I love that. You can just tell something was on top of Oh, look at that. So that is definite tea squishing from a tea bag. <laughs> Another tea bag impression. Pretty. Don't you just love the effect of when you dye papers? I love it. See where the envelope was. 
very pretty. Look at that, how it kind of run off to the edge of the page. Nice. Mmm, lots of character on that other side. And then this side, you can see where four different papers met on this one page. That's cool. Lots of little air bubble effects on that one. So pretty. You know, at the very beginning of this video, I said, well, now we're not going to go through all a hundred and something of these pages. <laughs> Guess what? We're going through all of them. Ooh, that one's got lots of character. Love that. Now, this is one of the thicker ones, so it's a lot darker than the other pages. And I'm doing this right in front of my mic, so I know y'all are probably getting all kinds of paper crinkling feedback. Some people love that and some don't. Sorry for those that don't. Lots of character on that one. So I'll be using these in some future videos with start to finish journals. Um, we are very, very busy uh, with our ministry right now. So um, June is just crazy. July is almost as crazy. And then um, August and September are full, but they're not as many travel days in those months. So it is kind of settling down a little bit. So I hope to have a little bit more time to do some longer videos, some start to finish journal videos for y'all. Cause I know lately I've been doing some, here look at this, what I have on my desk <laughs> and a little simple pocket and stuff videos. And um, I know that y'all love those and you like whatever, but um, I do want to get to some longer start to finish journal videos for y'all. And it'll happen just as soon as I get some time at home. <laughs> Longer than a day or two. Beautiful, love that. And this one, who knows how in the world that happened. But that is nice, I like that. All the little paper edges you can see on that one and then tea stain on, or tea bag stain on that side. Pretty. All right, well that's what I have left, yay. I love these, even the torn ones. And my book pages, and my envelopes. And um, if these bundles go well, then um, you know when I have time, I will get more done, more tea staining done, and I'll get more bundles done for y'all and uh, get those listed on the website. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Love ya. God bless. Bye y'all.